liked that last video, huh? Yeah! Well, I greatly enjoy checking out Dano Caldraws, and I think we should do it again. Yeah, yeah! Dano Cal Drawings. Yes, yes, yes. Dano, can you read the title? You know what it is. Dano Cal Drawings. This dude really surprised me when I checked out his channel. This is a series of animated shorts that are both funny, exciting, and actually educational. I mean, a lot of the time. Not all, sometimes. And you know what? I vibe with it so hard. And you guys seem to vibe with it too. Last one was a really fun time. So let's check him out again. I think we should just get right into it. And you know who else liked the video? and I really appreciated this was Dano Cal Drawings. Homie checked out the video. He left a super, super nice comment. And I just, it was really cool to see. So uh, I guess, you know, we're officially homies now. So yeah, let, let's, I mean, let's do, let's do part two. Why jails have orange jumpsuits? I've always wanted to know that. Well, I never did actually, but I'm interested now. <laughs> Why do prisoners wear orange jumpsuits? When I have first no being idea. sent to prison, inmates are usually given an orange or brightly colored jumpsuit or a very distinct pattern. Why? Well, there's cool. actually a couple reasons. First, what do you Sorry, not cool, not cool. I I accidentally just said cool to something about people in jail. Try to stay out. Try to stay before we move forward. Let me just say, jail, try to not do things that would put you there. Why? Well, there's actually a couple reasons. First, many believe it's to strip inmates of their identity, dignity, and self-esteem. Wow. It's also so they are instantly recognizable upon escape. That way, if True. they somehow manage to jump whatever electric True. fence or 20-foot wall keeps them trapped and run off, if anyone comes across them, they can immediately recognize True. them. True. Another slightly lesser reason is in high security prisons that hold extremely dangerous inmates, they employ guards like, with a mission like to shoot on sight. And an orange jumpsuit is definitely an easy target, day or night. Now you know. Wow, that's actually... Actually, like, I had no idea. I had no idea. That was interesting. I will forever know that. Yeah, I guess that's a good point. Not too many people wear all orange. So it is a pretty good idea. And since the world is blue and green, at least, you know, if you don't live in a city or the desert or whatever, whatever, the world that I know for the most part is blue and green. Like the sky and the, the grass and trees. So yeah, orange is like the opposite color. So it really stands out. That's why you notice right now I don't stand out a crazy amount from this background but now I stand out so much more because blue and orange are the opposite. Pretty cool. That was, okay, very informative. We're starting off with an A. And yes, we're gonna be rating these because that's what we do now, I guess, when we do shorts. Why, this is terrifying. Apple Vision Pro. I am terrified by Apple's new augmented reality headset. Yeah. So if you don't know, Apple creators of AirPods, iPhones, MacBooks, you Creators know of AirPods. Oh, oh, Dano, you just made me feel so old. Oh gosh, you just made me feel so so old. Apple, creators of AirPods. Oh my gosh. Guys, I have never felt older than hearing someone describing what Apple is to someone and saying they're the company that makes AirPods. And AirPods is the first example you give. Oh man. Oh man. Man, I was growing up with the iPods. Bruh. Oh my gosh. I was putting MP3s on my iPod. This, this thing with, this, with the swirly wheel. Life changing. There's nothing like it. Nothing like it, bro. AR headset called the Apple Vision Pro, and it is literally horrifying. Sure, the idea of having multiple monitors in public or on a plane that no one can see is pretty cool. And some of the ideas people have with this thing are great, but the fact yeah. that soon our reality could look like this scene oh, in Free Guy no. is kind of concerning. Not oh, to mention no. how some people have said it looks like Black Mirror, fearing that an IRL block or a rewind yeah. feature may come soon. But honestly, I'm more afraid of this thing turning us into the people from Wally. -E. And also, yeah. this real-time deep fake feature chills me to my core. It's either gonna make or break a oh, lot of relationships. Man. To be fair, I'm excited for the potential. But kind of shocked and worried that we're already at a place where our lives may be entirely changed by new technology. But what do you think? Am I just overreacting or are we doomed? Because I am terrified by Apple's new augmented reality headset. Oh, Dano, did you really have to do that to me? This early in the video, did you really have to do that to me? I hate this. I hate this. I don't care how cool technology is. Like, I am someone who is terrified of technology moving too fast, and I do think we'll all blow up. I would love it if technology, like, stopped at, like, 2015 and just never advanced past that. Aside from medicine, right? Like, things like that is, you know, really helpful. But man, yeah, all this tech, it's so overstimulating. People are gonna ruin their lives because they're addicted to it. I don't know. I, I do think it's cool. I do think you can do some incredible 
things with it, but like, I don't think the world needs this level of technology. Maybe I'm just old. Maybe, uh, like I said, maybe I'm just old, you know? But like, that's like too much for me, dude. I'll give that one a B for very scary. Why Groundhog Day is whack? What are you talking smack about the Groundhogs, bro? We gonna, have, we gonna have a problem over here? Why Groundhog Day makes no sense? Genuinely, I believe huh? this is our weirdest holiday. Old guy that gives out toys? Sure. Funny that poops candy. You're pushing it. A weird beaver thing that can forecast the weather? Seriously, why? Apparently, the traditional yeah, forecasting in early spring or a longer winter started off in the 1800s with candles. But the Germans came huh. along and decided to add an animal to the holiday. So they chose a hedgehog, which changed cool. to a groundhog because there are apparently just a lot more groundhogs around. So Damn. no, there's no lore behind why these creatures supposedly have magic weather abilities. Or even have decent weather prediction abilities. Because he's only actually been right about 39% of the time. And when your odds are literally 50-50, 39% is kind of rough, buddy. Also, yeah. for some reason, the entire media loves to gaslight people and say there's only been one groundhog in history. And that Puxatani Phil has been alive since the well, 1800s. Who's buying that? Groundhogs only live three to six years. Sorry to break the magic for you, kids. But that's... What like Groundhog, Groundhog Day, Day makes, makes no sense. sense. Man. Yeah, I already thought Groundhog Day didn't really make sense. But now that you've it spelled it out for me, yeah. Yeah, that ain't making no sense. And yes, I mean, of course it's from like the 1800s. Because no one nowadays would come up with something so like strange. Yeah, as if there's one Groundhog on the planet. That's like saying you got one muffin. Come on. Ladies and jellyfish, this is Kuma. Meet Kuma, the wonderful little boy, one of the wonderful new boys. Is he not the handsomest thing you have ever seen in your darn life? Look at how chill he is too. It's like one of the most chill rats I've ever had. He's such a sweet muffin. Oh, are you just gonna chill there, buddy? He could just chill like this. This is such a new development. The idea that I can actually think while holding a muffin. Wow, what a, bro. Bro, you're blowing my mind right now. How are you so well behaved? How are you so well behaved? There's the little bear, guys. There's the little muffin. Good boy, mister. Everybody say good boy, Kuma. Wow, you are so good. Okay, I'm bringing you back. I'm going back in. Okay. Yeah, that just officially blew my mind. Can we get rid of Groundhog Day and just change it to Muffin Day? I would really appreciate that. I'm not gonna give it a G for Groundhog, because that's lower than an F. I'll give that one a C for Crazy Day. The saddest Pixar movie? I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see this one. We all know what it is. We all know. If you ain't got it by now, then you just ain't getting it. Here we go, people. Which Pixar movie made me cry the hardest? <laughs> Seriously, who woke up one day and said, let's make the parents ball when they take their kids to see yep, animated yep. movies? Toy Story 3, I shed a few manly tears, that's, that's but only okay, because yeah. I grew up with the movies. Yeah. Nemo didn't get it as a child, but as an adult, wow. He lost 99% of his kids and- Oh yeah, that is horrible. <laughs> But the horrible. worst heartbreak of all, I didn't understand uh, up uh, at all as a kid. Growing up, I remembered it as that movie with the funny bird. But after having real relationships and a real heartbreak, I rewatched this movie and was completely caught off guard and... <laughs> Now you know. Which Pixar movie made you <laughs> okay, cry? Okay, there hardest? you go. Okay, I thought he was about to say. He said he didn't get it as a kid. I thought he was about to say, Up oh, didn't really make me sad. Like, bro, bro. <laughs> that is blasphemy. That is blasphemy. Could you imagine? There are few sentences in the English language that call for people to truly question your sanity. One of those is, I, I don't, don't think, think Up is sad. sad. That is one of the forbidden sentences where if you say it, you qualify to, to get uh, free coverage at any mental institution. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's an A for oh. Okay, this one really interests me. YouTube was a dating website? I... What? YouTube was originally a dating website? That's what? right. The app we all know and love today has definitely changed over the years. But insanely, yes. it started out as a matchmaking website. The idea was no that, way. yes, anyone could upload videos, but the video would be you talking about what you wanted in a partner, what? personality, looks, etc., and find other compatible people with similar videos. They even had a snazzy tagline. Tune in Hook up. Yep, what? definitely 2005. The only problem, what? no one used the website. The founders even tried bribing people by putting ads out on Craigslist offering $20 for women to post on the site. But oh nothing was working, gosh. so what made them change directions? Well, allegedly, it was either because one of the founders realized he couldn't find videos of two major news events from that year, or because one of the other founders was looking for a place to share some videos from a dinner party. Either way, the website changed to a free-for-all later that year, and they added things like the search bar and the subscribe button, and they didn't even have to change the name. But I still think it's kind of crazy that barely anyone knows that YouTube was originally a dating website. Oh, man. Right. These transitions always get me. He, he's too smooth with it. He's too smooth with it. Oh, yo. Yo. 
if this is true, I genuinely did not know that. And I am someone who has been watching YouTube since 2006. What? I've been making video, uploading videos to YouTube since 2006. If you didn't know that, now you know. I cannot, guys, I cannot stress enough. I am about this life. I didn't start being Robert Eddie K until 2014, but I have posted videos to YouTube since 2006. They're all gone now. All those channels were deleted a long time ago. But yes, I have seen like every evolution of YouTube since that point. I have, I've been here for it. I know I just made myself sound old again. Keep in mind, I was 12. I was 12 when I first started posting. That one's an A for A. I'm I'm very passionate about YouTube. The most subscribers I've gained in a day? I'm interested to see this as a YouTuber. The most subscribers I've gained in a day? Right now we've gained almost 3 million subscribers, and for that I'm wow. eternally grateful. But there was one day in the history of my channel when I gained more subscribers than ever before. There have been a few days when our community grew a lot. Ricky's yeah. final battle, the return of clone Ricky, stuff wow. like that. But the day I gained the most subscribers was before Shorts Wars, before CBSMP, and it was only about a month after Riggy spoke for the first time. April okay. 8th, 2023. The video was simply talking about the history of the subscribe button. The wow. amount of subs I gained? 51,000. I gotta do that. Which is a massive number. I gotta do that. Days, I gain only around a couple thousand subs. So why am I telling you this? Well, Royal Pair and I have a small little competition going where we're trying to see who can gain the most subs in a day. And he's getting pretty close to my record. I'm not gonna lie. So let's try and make this my most subscribed video ever. Share it to all Bro. your friends and family. Comment as much as you can for the algorithm them and subscribe so we can try to make this the most Bro, subscribers I'll boop, I that, I'll boop that like button for you but unfortunately i already <laughs> subbed baby <laughs> already subbed but that's incredible i wish i could have a video all about subscribing i can't make like a 30 minute video just about subscribing it just won't work for my videos but you know what hey 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 it well since i it's impossible for me to make a video about subscribing what better time than now can we make this my most subscribed video if you are watching this and you are not subscribed to robert idk a what are you doing two that's silly. Three, you should subscribe now. This is the sign you've been waiting for. Boop that sub button. Let's go. I'll give that an A for A. No, I can't I can't just say that every time. I'll give that an A for most subscribers you've made in a day. Come on, man. There you go. The most famous virus. I am actually so interested in this because if it's this boy, I had that boy. <laughs> All right, let's go. Most famous computer virus? Back in the oh ancient days of computers, 1999, there was a fun little electro pal you could download. And his name? Bonsai, Bonsai, Bonsai Buddy. buddy. Bonsai buddy this little guy went viral, as you would say back then, due to his similarity but ultimately superiority to Microsoft's Clippy, which many people found extremely oh annoying. Bonsai Buddy could play games, tell you jokes, and reply in his horrifying voice. Bonsai Buddy is loved. Oh my gosh! Yo, I'ma keep it real. I downloaded that onto my family's computer. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, let's keep it going. Again, people, I'm making myself seem so old in this video. I've seemed so old here. What's going on? Went wrong. Well, he was actually a form of both spyware and adware, yeah. collecting users' personal yeah. data and giving them an insane amount of pop-ups and ads based on the information it collected from you, also disguised as Microsoft Alert Windows. Yeah. Ultimately, the company was sued multiple times and yep. ended up shutting down in 2004 because of a $75,000 fine for violating COPPA. But that's the tragic tale of the- Mo Wow. Wow. COPPA. Back in 2004. I didn't even realize that existed back then. Oh my gosh, this is crazy, dude. Because Bonsai Buddy's like, Hello, I am Bonsai Buddy. I want to be your friend. Can you start by giving me your birthday? Tell me your last name. You know? Crazy. Crazy. And all of us computer illiterate dinguses just believed, Oh, there could not be possibly anything wrong with this. Bonsai Buddy's my friend. Like, how could we be so foolish? I don't know how. I don't know how. I'm giving that one an A because... Wait, it can't just be... I'm giving that one an A because it made me uh, feel old. 
Never mind, an F. <laughs> Just kidding, A. Uh, please press like on this video. Why I hate McDonald's. Why McDonald's makes me angry? There's multiple Why? reasons that this restaurant makes me want to go on a nuts or hermit But it boils down to the Another one. one. Where do the all-day breakfast go? If I want pancakes at 5 in the afternoon, you seriously want me to go to IHOP and spend $80? Yeah, no, I want a cheap on, sponge man. food. Two, why are they raising their prices? What? McDonald's is supposed to be the cheap last resort for broke people. I'm saving to buy a car, unfortunately. You had to buy a cardboard box in LA, and you're making it a lot more difficult. But the biggest reason, you cannot put Mick in front of everything and have makes sense. The chicken, sure. McNuggets, go ahead. But then I was outside the restaurant last time and saw Mick a sign that said Mick hiring. I Mick lost hiring? You. I'm going to go take a Mick dump in your Mick toilet and Mick stab somebody oh! so you bring back all day breakfast. Once Get him, Dano. Your while you're at it. Or better yet, release the Mick flamethrower so I can burn all of you clown worshippers to the ground. And don't even mention the broken ice cream machines. Also, bring back the chicken tenders. I love them with all my heart. Oh, I needed to get that out, but that's... Man, Dano went in. Dano, just slay him, my G. Slay him. Let him know how you really feel. This dude, he, he dropped bars on McDonald's. Yeah, I do agree. You can't, you can't just add Mick to everything. You know, can't have no McRobert, McMingus, McMuffin. Actually, I guess you can. But then I went to McDonald's the other day, and when I gave them my money, they said, "Thanks. Let me quickly put this in the Mick cash register." And I said. What's this world come to? <laughs> What's this world coming to? Oh, brother, this guy stinks! That one gets an A. That slapped. Oh, okay, let's stay on topic. Grimace Shake explained? What's up with the Grimace Shake? You What's up with the Grimace McDonald's Shake? attempted to bring back one of its old characters, Grimace, by acknowledging him for the first time in 10 years by celebrating Whoa. his birthday the entire month of June and by introducing his very own shake. But McDonald's so marketing cool. team could have never predicted what would happen. The entire internet began making fun of the Purple Monster's sweet drink and wow. claiming it kills people, either via poison or Grimace himself showing up to drag you away after you take a sip. So this, of ridiculous. course, made the shake even more popular than ever, with everyone hopping on the trend just like they did with Tide Pods. Wow. Even if it kills you, it's worth it for the views. I never liked Grimace anyway. The meaning of his name is this facial expression, True. and he's just kind of off-putting, although most of the McDonald's cast is. What's next? The Hamburglar Meal, where after you eat it, you get mugged. Of course, <laughs> though, the shake won't actually hurt you. And to prove it, I'm gonna try it. Wait, Riggy, maybe just in oh, case... Oh, no, don't, don't do it, Riggy. How bad can it be? <laughs> See, I'm fine. I'm uh, That's sure what you'll happens. be okay. Anyway, now you know. What's up? That's what happens. What? Ha that's what happens. Did you not learn from the homie Charlie? I just got the Grimace shake. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Wow. Do you want the Grimace shake? Yes, it's so nutritious. No, it is not. No, it is not. No, it is not at all. Listen, Dallin, Charlie, you're literally my homies. You're literally my homies. Congratulations on the incredible performance of this. But man, the Grimace shake is not nutritious. That's literally like the thing it is least. It, it makes more sense to say the Grimace Shake is, is green than to say it's nutritious. You're closer to being right if you say that it's green, sparkly rainbow color than saying it's nutritious. Uh, all I'm saying, that's all I'm saying. I give that one a, a C for Charlie was right. Or wait, no, he wasn't. It's not nutritious. What is this creature? What is this creature? All of you have seen this little guy in most of my animations, but what? What exactly yeah. is he? Well, I'm settling it once and for all. He's a rabbit monkey. He's gone through a lot of iterations before Whoa. settling on the final design, but I'm happy with where we've ended up. He says he's so thankful that all of you enjoy his acting and modeling so much, and he's so happy good. he gets to entertain you every day. Although, I haven't found a name for him yet, or the name of his species. I'm thinking a rab key, a money, a mabbit, maybe a rabby? And what about his name? I'm thinking something with an R, like Ricky, Riggy, or Rabby again. There Comment you below go. what you think. But now you know there the you answer go. to the question. What is this? Whoa, that helped. That just helped. Listen, it's been the uh, elephant in the room this whole time. You know, am I right? I haven't watched any of the Riggy uh, animations. I, like, I'll, I'll handle that another time. I'll handle th the lore another time. But wow, that is that the first video where he talks about it? That's pretty cool. And he got the name. That's fun. That is, yo, homies, that is like when I made the video like three years ago, where I made the video saying I wanted to come up with a fandom audience viewer name. And I made a poll. I made a poll on the internet and you guys voted for it. And in the end, we got the poop troop. But I am wondering, do we stick with that name? <laughs> do we stick with that name? It's been, uh, it's been
been four, it's been years. I don't really address it as much as I used to. But actually, I did address it yesterday when I set up memberships on the channel. What a wonderful segue that I wasn't planning on doing. Just so you know, homies, uh, I just activated memberships on the channel. We have the join button now. It's a pretty simple thing. I'm sure you've seen it on other, on other channels. For mine, we're just gonna do, you know, a few like bonus posts and behind the scenes things from me. Not any full videos, just a few things here and there. You get a cool badge next to your name if you want to support the channel. At the beginning, you get a muffin. You stay a member for over a month, you get a different muffin. Another month, me. And then uh, at the end, you can get Mingus. But yeah, it's just a cool little thing. If you wanted to support the channel, the button is now there. Anyways, should we do a whole video on the Riggy videos? Because that seems to be a really big part of the Dan O'Cal experience that I haven't experienced. So should I check it out? If you want me to do a whole video on Riggy stuff, 10,000 likes, how about that? All right, which one are we gonna check out next? I think, um, oh, that video was not made by the way. Which video should we check out next? Disney's abandoned monster. What the heck does that mean? Mean. Disney's abandoned monster? There's an abandoned monster animatronic in Disneyland that was hidden in the park. Most of you know about Disney's Matterhorn bobsleds and Harold the Yeti, but what you may not no? know is that back no. in 2015 when the ride was redone, they actually replaced the Yeti animatronics inside the ride. Okay. But instead of scrapping the old Yeti, they actually saved him and put him in the Disney back rooms until 2017. The Disney the back of rooms. Was shut down and rethemed to Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Break. Wait, now, inside what? of Devon the Collector's dwellings, he has a wide collection of weird and cool items and creatures, now including Harold the retired Yeti on a platform platform just before getting on the gantry lift. I even took a selfie with the homie last time I was there. He was a pretty chill dude. The more you know, but now you can tell your friends about Disney's abandoned monster. Did he say that the Tower of Terror is now a whatever he just said? Guardians of the Galaxy? Does it still, does it not exist anymore? Until 2017 when the Tower of Terror was shut down and rethemed to Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. Inside of the Tower of Terror. What? what? Oh my gosh. The Tower of Terror was replaced with a marvel. Oh my gosh, I should have ridden it again. I should have ridden it again. Actually, I didn't live here before then, so I guess I didn't really have an opportunity. Wow. That's sad, dude. There's another thing that's gonna make me feel old. I remember going on the Tower of Terror when I was like nine and hanging on to my dad during like a lot of the ride because I was scared. Oh my gosh, I remember that. Ah! Oh man, I wish I could have gone on it again as an adult. I had no idea. That makes me so sad. Wait, but it's still in Disney World. So I just have to go to Disney World, even though I live in the city that Disneyland is in. So that's kind of pointless. What's the best video platform? Wouldn't that be YouTube, my G? The best short video platform? It's no secret that there's a war going on right now between True. TikTok, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts, True. as well as Snapchat and Facebook, but they're irrelevant. So which one is the best, or at least which platform is winning the short format war. Well, we can immediately eliminate Reels, since most of the Reels content is recycled TikTok and Shorts videos. That's so true, really that's true. And while it may seem like TikTok is coming out ahead with all its trend-setting songs and memes, as well as inflated follower mm -hmm. counts, yes. in reality, it's YouTube. Not only do a lot of TikTokers have the dream of becoming YouTubers, because you can build a much true. better connection with your audience through long-form content, but true. also YouTube's new ad split is so good, where being a Shorts creator is a genuine job now. In fact, it's so good that, yes, Riggy, you can finally get a raise. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, now I want another one. All right, I'm taking it back. Wait, what? The but now you know. Good job, Riggy. Short video platform. Riggy got a raise. Wow, that's amazing. That is true. That is true. Let's keep it real. No pun intended. Reels are just recycled from TikTok and YouTube. But this does interest me because this year I am getting back into doing short form content as well. I'm going to be using my TikTok page and I've already started posting a few shorts on here. Just fun little goofy shorts that I made. I'm just kind of testing it out, you know? So yeah, um, that's actually a good reminder, make sure you've checked out the shorts on my channel. If you haven't checked out the shorts on my channel, just quickly watch them all because they're all slappers. I'm not kidding you. They're all slapperino. So just give them a watch, okay? Why do cartoon characters have gloves? First of all, you can't not have any gloves showing in the thumbnail, boss. You can't be talking about the gloves and not show the gloves. Come on. We're in glove world here. Yeah, have one job is to show us the glove. Anyways, uh, let me guess because hands are hard to draw. Let's go. Why do all old cartoon characters wear gloves? Mickey Mouse, Bugs Bunny, Woody Woodpecker, and Todd the Cat wow. all have white hands or gloves. Wow. Why? Well, it's pretty simple. The early days of animation had a lot of characters with white hands because all of their films were in black and white as True. color wouldn't come about until 1932 with Disney's Flowers and 
and trees. True! Awesome, but all the characters could be seen much easier on the ink backgrounds, or normal backgrounds, with white gloves. True! But white True. characters today, like Bendy or Cuphead, or my rabbit monkey, still have them. Well, just a reference to the golden days of animation, although I'm not too sure any of us were alive back then. But now you know. Why do all old cartoon characters wear gloves? That just... I was alive back then. I'm just kidding, guys. No, I'm not that old. But that blew my mind. That just blew my mind. That was so educational. That was so interesting. That makes so much sense. But I never would have thought of that. That's so interesting. White gloves. No one even wears white gloves in real life nowadays. And yeah, any like throwback characters, they're going to put the white gloves. I never would have thought that. Sorry, I don't have any crazy insight on this. I had no idea. That was really interesting. Thank you, Dano. A plus. More of the funniest shower thoughts. Well, I ain't seen shower thoughts one, so unfortunately I'm coming in a bit late, but let's check out some shower thoughts. Shower thoughts are interesting, you know? Everyone loves a good shower. Everyone loves a good shower thought. If you don't love a good shower thought, uh, something's going on. <laughs> more funny shower thoughts. When you're older, Christmas feels more like a deadline than a holiday. Yep. Every broken clock always displays the exact time it died. Making a typo in an online Whoa. argument is like your voice cracking in a real argument and you immediately lose. If you think you're ugly, you're not. You're just not your type. A lot of people use Whoa. the driver's license the most to buy things that'll impair their ability to drive. Leave a comment to be featured True. next time on More Funny Shower Thoughts. When you're older, Christmas feels I more missed like a couple. A I missed a couple of those Every as I was talking. Every broken clock always Just displays the exact time it died. Making a typo in an online argument is like your voice cracking in a real argument and you immediately lose. Uh -huh. If you think you're ugly, you're That's not. Scary. You're just not your type. A lot of people use their driver's license the most to buy things that'll impair their ability to drive. Leave a comment to be wow, featured next time on More Funny dude. Shower Thoughts. Wow, this dude. Did you, bro, if, if Dano really came up with all of these on his own, my hat's off to you, my G. That was good. Those were all very, very clever. Okay, the driver's license thing, that's a really good and sad point. Christmas definitely does feel more like a deadline than a, than a holiday now. I'll, I'll keep that real. Now that I'm an adult and my main job is buying gifts for other people rather than just sitting back and receiving them, definitely feels more like a deadline. The whole, uh, if you think you're ugly, you're, don't worry, you're just not your type. Honestly, I guess maybe that's true. I, I can't tell if that's true or not, because a lot of people make themselves look the way they want to look. So in a sense, they are their own type, but I don't think I really am. I, I have very conflicting things that go on with my appearance. I mean, first of all, half the time I've got a beard and the other half I just don't. I got this little uh, emo throwback hairstyle that I, I grow from like short to incredibly long. I just completely change it. So, but I have this look and then I like, I I work out and I like train my muscles to be as, as big as possible. And then I, you know, I mean, I guess, I guess the tattoos can fit with either the emo boy or the buff guy. I guess that works for either. And then my voice can either be really high and silly or it can get pretty deep. So yeah, I just, I don't know if I'm my type. I think I'm just a combination of a bunch of weird stuff. <laughs> Anyways, that one got me thinking. A. That was an A. What if you stop drinking water? What would happen if you stopped drinking water? You we all know that around 60% of our bodies are water and that it's important, but what would happen if we stopped drinking it all together? Well, first, your mouth would get super dry and you'd start to sweat less as your body conserves water mm -hmm. for more important things mm -hmm. like the heart and the brain. But after too long, your brain might even begin to shrink, tear, and bleed. True. You'll start being True. unable to move from exhaustion, having massive headaches, and maybe even hallucinating. Going to the bathroom will start becoming extremely difficult because of how hard your kidneys are working, and after around eight wow. days, yeah. give or take, it just becomes a matter of wondering which of your organs will fail and kill you first. Yeah. In other words, go drink water, especially now that you know. What would happen if you stopped yeah, drinking? Yeah, true. Thank you, Dano. Thank you, Dano. Hon honestly, let's go. A hashtag thank you, Dano. Okay, I vibe with this so hard. I am the friend, the friend and like the boyfriend when I'm in a relationship who will not stop reminding you to drink water if you do not drink enough water. Most people don't drink enough water and it drives me insane. It is so easy to drink water and it is one of the most important things you can possibly do for your health. Guys, why do you think I still look 19 at 29? I take care of myself, okay? Please drink more water. It is like literally next to breathing. It is the most important thing you do in your life. It is. I. It, it literally is. Please, if you do not drink much water, please, homie, drink more water. I drink probably like eight of these a day. In fact, I'm gonna go get a refill. A. Where did no 
word come from? I do not know where I came from, but let's find out. Who invented the word nerd? While there's been many names for people of my culture who have exquisite <laughs> tastes, such as geek, dork, dweeb, or poindexter, the word nerd Point describes Dexter. somebody who's either A, into popular video games or movies at an intense level, such as me with all my posters, hats, amiibo, etc., or word. B, a very smart person who does better than everyone else on an academic level. But where did the term come from? It's not nearly as old as you'd think, and I'll give you two hints. He's a famous children's writer, and he cheated on his wife while she had a brain Dr. tumor. Seuss. That's right, it's Dr. Seuss! Back oh my gosh! Book, if I Ran the Zoo. Over the years, the term was popularized as a derogatory use, but hey, it's 2023. Being a nerd is the new cool. Don't let anyone tell you different. But now you know. Wow! Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss creating derogatory words. Actually, no, it's not that derogatory. Well, no, it was originally derogatory, but now the word, like, is less derogatory because people started, like, wearing that word with pride. Nerds took back the word nerd. Legit. I'm a nerd about so many things. I mean, I guess I'm a nerd. But that's the thing. That's what I'm saying, right? Is, like, in some ways, I am not a nerd? Like, I, I don't know. Like, I work out, but also I'm a nerd about working out. I know way too much information about, like, how to time your meals, what speed to do your exercises at, the order to do your exercises in, the time of day to eat what food. Like, I know way too much because I was a nerd who got into fitness and health. That is why I am such a freak about this stuff. Anything I get into, I get way into, homies. But yeah, I we don't hear people wearing the word nerd with pride much these days. So thank you, Dano, for, for, for jumping in with that. Music versus the internet. The war for music on the internet? Long before Spotify, Apple Music, Pandora, YouTube Music, and Amazon Music Unlimited. Who uses uh -huh. this? There was a website between 1999 and 2001 called Napster. Napster Keep in mind, yep. the internet was brand new. There was no that. streaming services, no old. YouTube, and no VPNs. People didn't really understand the World Wide Web just yet. So when file streaming service Napster was made for a couple college students, who wanted to share mp3 files around it exploded and you could basically find and download any song in the world from the platform yeah, of course crazy. artists didn't like that they weren't selling records or ipod yep. songs for a dollar a piece yep. so napster got sued a lot first by metallica then eminem and then everyone else and it filed for bankruptcy in 2001 and shut down although fast forward to today you can find any song on youtube put it True. into a youtube to mp3 True. downloader and get the exact same result so how far did we really come Bruh. dano i i'm pretty sure you're not supposed to tell people that i don't know if youtube uh, representatives have seen that particular video, but, uh, I mean, I, you do your thing. Anyways, I do think that was really interesting. I have so many thoughts on this. So many thoughts. First of all, the people who sued Napster Whoa. just happened to be some of the already most paid musicians on the planet. Like, Eminem, it's possible that he's a billionaire. It's very possible that he is a legitimate billionaire from how much he sold. Metallica, same thing. Each member probably has over a hundred million dollars. Um, no, it, they definitely do. These are literally some of the highest paid people in the world. Yet yeah, they were the ones who had a problem with the file downloading service. Dude, honestly, I bet it was like their labels who like kind of convinced them to because the labels were like losing more money. But also I do, I do find it interesting hearing someone talk, tell about the history of Napster who like wasn't around for Napster. And I, I don't say that as a negative thing at all. I'm just saying like I grew up hearing about all this. There were other things like Kazaa, LimeWire I used. Frostwire I use. All these file sharing services, I use them constantly. In 2003, I would download Linkin Park live videos and I would just like watch them. And you can like try and find games on there. Like you could find anything. It was crazy. But the fact is like half the stuff had viruses because you're literally just downloading from a random guy who's completely anonymous. They can put any virus they want in your files. So it is a bad idea. <laughs> Anyways, that was really cool. A. Homies, let's see what the final score is. Three, two, one. Dano did pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. I'm not surprised. I really enjoy these videos. I love the history and learning and stuff. I love it. I love it. You know why, people? Because I'm a nerd. Anyways, people, if you did not see it, here's the first time we looked at Dano Cal drawings. Really, really awesome video. If you haven't seen it, make sure you check it out. Or here's a video that YouTube thinks you will like. I will see you here. I will see you there. Here is Dano's channel. Make sure you're subscribed to him. He did all the hard work. We were just being silly. Have a good day. Peace.